uh, I thought today we'd touch base on uh, some electrical stuff. So someone had asked a question about uh, how the charging system works and so I thought I'd go over that again. Uh, it's very straightforward. Uh, so here's my charging unit. It's uh, a metal plate with um, my charger which is a 10 amp current limited power supply um, which also has a maximum output voltage and I'll explain why that's important a little later. Uh, it's got an extra cooling fan and it has a power bar on it. Now the power bar is modified so that it actually has um, instead of the typical uh, switch, instead of the typical on-off switch that you'd have in a power bar, uh, I've actually put a relay in there. So the power contacts of the relay are where the uh, on-off switch used to be. And now I have these two wires coming out here that go to the coil of that relay. So essentially these two wires uh, control the relay in this power bar which uh, controls when wall power actually gets to these outlets here. So effectively by plugging this into my bike, my bike can control uh, when the fan and the charger actually have wall power. And that's essentially it. So there's two connect connections. There's the uh, relay connection and there's the uh, power connection which in my case is, is 10 amps so it doesn't require a huge bulky connector or anything it's just uh, some of these uh, Anderson uh, multi-pole connectors. So I'll show you how it hooks up and how it works. So under the rear seat here I can just unlock this, pop this up And here's my two connections. I always just put a bit of electrical tape over them just as extra security. And I always just kind of plunk them down onto the rear light here. So there's my power connection. Here's my relay connection. I'll plug these both in now. See if I can do this with one hand. That's plugged in, and this guy plugged in like so. So I can power up my bike. The, uh, the BMS comes on, starts reading in all the voltages, and then I have this switch right here that I can actuate, and that will output power to the uh, to the power bar. So I'll switch that, I'll flick that switch. It says charge on. And there we go. And you can see the display reads plus 9 amps. So it's 10 amps are going into the battery pack right now. And so you can see the red lights on here are on. The fan is turning. So this charger uh, does have an internal fan as well. Uh, but this external fan here just reinforces it. Uh, so it keeps it extra cool and as well it's on the big metal plate so it's, it's easy to move around um, and as well provide some additional uh, cooling. So this charger is just a really cheap uh, 10 amp uh, power supply and you can see here it says uh, 88.2 volts apologize if you can't read that uh, and 10 amps so the output voltage uh, that 88.2 volts uh, is, is important because um, let's say something goes wrong with the BMS on the bike uh, what's supposed to happen is the BMS is supposed to shut down power to this power bar when a cell goes over voltage now if for some reason that fails to happen well the redundancy here is that the power supply can only output a maximum of 88.2 volts uh, so even if the BMS fails to shut off the charger for some reason, uh, a cell would only be moderately uh, overcharged in that situation. Um, what else? And of course the uh, point at which that happens is adjustable on the screen and everything. So it's all, all really easy to, uh, for me to change things. And yeah, so that's about it. Uh, so when the, um, 
charge is complete, which actually will happen quite soon here because the bike is fully charged, uh, the BMS will shut down power to that power bar and the charger will shut off and that's it. It's done charging. At that point I can simply um, flick the switch so that uh, the screen will say charge off and you can see charging current goes to zero and then I can unplug all my all my connections here. Of course if I would left that switch on, turn that back on, uh, and it happened automatically of course uh, I can unplug these at any time and nothing would uh, nothing would go wrong. Yeah so that's the uh, charging setup. Uh, very straightforward. Um, you can use any with this method, you can use any um, current limited power supply. Um, the uh, voltage setting on that power supply is just an extra kind of redundancy measure, which is nice. You don't necessarily have to have a uh, power supply that outputs a, a maximum voltage of any kind. So there the charger just was shut down automatically. So you can see zero amps are going in and it's done charging. And now I can unplug. I can unplug my connections, turn that switch off, unplug my connections, and then drive away. And that's all. All right. So I guess uh, that concludes this one.